mounting strobe lights to the DJI Air 3, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing, it's greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to be talking about how to mount strobes to the new DJI Air 3. If you've been following the channel at all, you know that we do a lot of strobe mounts for all types of drones, as well as strobe combinations. So when the Air 3 came out, we went ahead and made the same array of strobe mounts for that model as well. Oh, and by the way, if you do like this uh, racing stripe set that we have for the Air 3, it is also available on our website, Etsy, and eBay stores. Currently, we do offer arm mounts as well as a bottom mount for the Air 3. We will be coming out with a top mount shortly, uh, so keep an eye out for that. But today, I just wanted to talk to you about how to uh, install these strobe mounts on your new drone. So first off, what strobes do we support? Uh, currently, we support both the uh, Firehouse Technology Arc 5, which is very popular, probably my favorite strobe at the moment, as well as the Firehouse Technology Micro. This is the encased version of it. They also offer a basic version. We are not currently supporting the basic version, uh, but just this encased version. Next up for a lot of you overseas that can't get the, uh, the Firehouse line, we do offer mounts for the Flytron strobes. This is the C2 strobe and the C1 strobe, uh, so we have mounts for those. And we currently offer mounts for the Vifly strobe. Uh, this is probably uh, my next favorite strobe over the uh, Firehouse line. So if you can't get any of the Firehouse ones, I highly recommend these. I did do a uh, kind of an overview of all these different strobe types uh, in another video. I'll leave a link up in a card here uh, so you can watch that after you're done watching this video. So again, our mounts do mount to the arms typically. Uh, like I said, we do offer a bottom mount right now, but uh, the firehouse strobes all go into the mounts in a similar manner. Um, you can see that these are all made out of a TPU flexible rubber uh, material, so they won't break, they won't scratch your drone or anything. Um, but to install the strobes, uh, simply just kind of pry them apart just like that and click it into place. And you can see that both the USB charging port as well as the power button are still accessible. You do get some light coming out of these slits here on the side as well, um, as well as the full 180 degree throw um, from the top there. So once those are installed in the mount, we can go ahead and install them on the arms. You can see that each of them are labeled. This says uh, Air 3, back right. So this is your back right, back left, front right, front left. So the easiest way to install these on the arms is to actually install them from the bottom edge where the, uh, in this case, the trailing edge is rather thin. You can just simply pry these apart a little bit and get them to slide on just like that. Once it is on, you just rotate it back into place. You can see you have a little bit of play where you want to put it. Um, if you start all the way out here at the motor end and just slide it up till it gets slightly snug, that is the best place for that. So you can see it's, oh, there's about an inch of space from the motor to where the actual mount is right there. So likewise, the micro strobe also installs in a very similar manner. Uh, with the micro being smaller, the mount is also a little bit smaller as well. So next up, we're gonna be talking about how to install the Flytron strobes. Uh, these are the Flytron strobe mounts. The strobe goes into the mount a little bit differently than the, uh, the Firehouse Technology strobes do. Uh, in this case, they just slide in from the top. You can see the, uh, the USB charging port right here, USB-C charging port will face up and it will slide in. You just kind of slide this catch out of the way and then that catch covers it, keeping it from sliding out. You can see that the two LEDs on this C2 strobe are both visible. Now to install it on the drone, you, again, these are labeled. So this is the front left. Again, this is the front left arm. So we will flip the drone over. 
and we will clip it on and then rotate it up into place. This best location for the front arm mounts is just behind this rubber bumper that goes for all of the different strobe mounts. Uh, those fit the best right about there. And you'll notice that all the text is always on top, so that is normal for this. Um, you can see the text is on top here. Next, we're going to talk about how to install the Vifly strobes on the arms. Uh, the best way to install the strobe into the mount is to actually, uh, with the charging port downward, tuck that into this bottom slot, pry this top catch back and tuck it in. That catch will spring back in place again because this is a rubbery TPU material uh, to cover that top edge. You can see that all five LEDs on the Vifly strobe light are visible as well as that power button. Again, these are labeled. This one's labeled the front right. That would be this arm. So again, text facing upward is normally how those are installed. We will install it on the leading edge here. Just slide it on until it clips into place and rotate that around. And again, just behind this front cushion bumper right here. Lastly, we're going to talk about how to install the bottom mount. Uh, the bottom mount we have available with uh, all these same strobes. Um, if they're not up yet, when this video is released, they will be up shortly. Um, we start out with the ARC-5 because it is the most popular and we kind of work our way downward to the less popular strobe lights. If there are some strobe lights you would like us to support, just let us know down in the comments and uh, we'll try to support you in that way. Um, so again, just like how we installed the strobe into the mount for the arms, we, installation in the bottom mount is very similar. Just clip it in, kind of pry the top portion apart, and there it is in the mount. Before we go ahead and install this on the bottom, I just wanted to uh, show you how this is labeled. You'll see that there is the word front and there's an arrow, so obviously that's going to face the front of the drone. Um, that is where this finger catch release is uh, right here. That will go toward the front. So to the, install this on the bottom, it does clip right here where this label is, this 81DB label. Um, Again, keeping in mind which side is facing forward, which is the side with that finger uh, release. We're going to clip the back on. It's easiest to kind of slide this into place. Just make sure it's clipped in all the way across and then simply push down and it will clip into place. To remove it, just use three fingers to cover this entire clip and squeeze. You'll see that it pulls that clip out of the way and then just slide it off. Likewise, on the bottom mount, you can see that the USB charging port is available for you, as well as that power button, just like those arm mounts were. So that is it for this quick installation tutorial for our strobe mounts for the Air 3. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I will be glad to answer them. You can also reach out to us on our website. We have a Facebook Connect button in the lower right-hand corner. You can reach us that way as well. All the links to our strobe mounts will be down in the description below, as well as where you can purchase the uh, strobe lights themselves. They are sold separately. We offer the strobe lights on our website as well. You can also purchase both the uh, strobe mounts and strobe lights from Firehouse Technologies. We've got a big order going out to them here shortly, so they should be in stock there soon as well. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.